Hello, this is going to be a reading, a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. We're going to do Pisces. Um, I feel like I, I need to get this earring out because it's itching me. I don't ever put earrings up in this hole and I did today and it's been a little itchy so I'm going to take it out. Um, I don't normally do readings for, <laughs> I always wait till the end of the month, I drop my lotion, to do Pisces. To do Pisces and Aquarius and Sagittarius. So I'm going to do them next. So yeah, just to give, give them. What did I do with my water? Did I leave it out there? All right. So I have my Oracle of the Unicorns deck. Um, Romance Angels. Rider Waite. Light Sears. Um, my Boaty Tarot. Who Oracle and my spirit message. All right, I gotta go get a water. I'll be right back, Pisces. Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. I had to go get a water. All right, I think we're gonna start out with my deck today. Let's see what spirit's got to say, okay? Scooch in just a bit. Okay. We are reading now for Pisces. Where is my bell to clear the energy? Somebody took it out, of course. Right. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? I guess I don't really need it. I got so many crystals in here. This energy's always clean. <laughs> Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know, Spirit? On this beautiful, crazy energy time. Ooh, Pisces. The answer is yes. Whatever you have been thinking about, the answer is yes. It is, the answer is yes. Ooh, we got full lips, full lips. Ooh, like this, full. <laughs> so your person may have full lips, I don't know. One more card from this deck, please. And what? <laughs> okay, 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 let me, let me just, okay. We got the answer is yes. Do you see that? The answer is yes, okay? Can you see that? I am using my light. I'm not using my microphone. For for those of you that have watched my last videos, I got some new equipment. So I am using my lights. I'm not using my microphone today because it just, eh, it just takes a little bit of a time to set up. So, And then we got full lips. And then we got the answer is no. <laughs> Spirit is very confused. So I have no idea what is going on there. <laughs> Okay, we can pull a card about the answer is yes and the answer is no and we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's pull from, all right, let's do light seers about this. Okay, so we're going to pull a card for the answer is yes first. All right, why did we get the answer is yes? What is this about, Spirit? What is Pisces asking about? What is the answer about? What do we got here? It says the answer is yes, but what what is the question? Can you tell us what the question is, please? We're talking about the answer is yes first, okay? We're going to do, we're going to focus on that one. Oh, God, here goes my nose itching. And the thing is, I like the microphone, but I have to use, like, another app. I can't use my camera, and I don't like the camera that's the camera app because it's always got like blurs on the side so it's another reason i'm not using the microphone today okay <clears throat> so y'all just gonna have to hear me hear me like this okay but i'm using the light okay so you guys can see the cards okay what do we got this card for what is this what is pisces asking about the answer is yes and what what are we talking about here spirit can i get a card for that please and then we'll do the answer is no right now we're doing the answer is yes Four of Pentacles. Okay, so Four of Pentacles. This is probably about abundance. So I don't honestly see a lot of, okay. I, I Let me take that back. I do see a lot of like financial really great things coming in, but the thing is, Pisces, I don't see you like giving 
away any of your money. I see you holding on to it really tight. Okay. So the answer is yes. You're going to get um, some financial gain here in the past couple days if that's what your question was. Okay. This is a love reading. I normally don't do stuff like this, but you know, I had to pull a card on it, right? It says the answer is yes. We need to know what you're asking about. But you see how she's holding on to the purse really tight. So I feel like you're not going to be giving away any money anytime soon. Okay, let's focus on the answer is no. What do we got for that? Can you tell me what Pisces is asking about for this? The answer is no. Let's just do a little clarifier for Pisces, please. Spirit. Okay. All right, so the answer is no about some kind of family um, matter, okay? We got the Ten of Pentacles. So this is like um, you see in the cards, a happy family. There is a couple. Um, there's kids playing as a dog. So this is no to the happily ever after that, I don't know, that you're imagining in your head, I guess. Take it how it resonates. That's what's coming out. <laughs> Sorry, Pisces. All right. At least with this person in your head. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to move on. Um, whew, let's start out with... Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to continue with this Light Sears Tarot. We're going to continue with this and then we're, we're going to... Yeah, let's do... Let's just go. <laughs> I got my rose quartz here. So we got everything programmed for love. All right, can we get four cards from this deck, please, for Pisces? All right, I feel like time's already getting away from me. Four cards. Let me just move this back just a smidge. Ah, what's happening? Four cards for Pisces, please. Four cards from this deck, four cards from the... From the Rider Waite. What she got for Pisces, huh? All right, we got Queen of Cups. Let's see what's coming out next. Let's get some stories going for you. Four of Cups. What the frick? Ooh, the chariot. Very nice. One more card, please, for Pisces. This deck. I've seen better days, too. i got to get some new decks, y'all. All right. So, again, I see a lot of options, Pisces. A lot of confusion. There is someone, though, that has really caught your fancy. I know it. So it's, I see it from these cards that you are open for love, okay? The Queen of Cups is showing me that you're definitely, definitely open for love. But there's this feeling of not really being, like, satisfied still with the options that are coming in, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you why. Let me shuffle these cards. Pisces are reading out for Pisces. Pisces, what, what do we see coming in for Pisces, please? Spirit team. Okay, so let me just get a little bit more cards out here before I start reading this energy fully. All right. Whoa, okay. You will be committing to someone soon, though, let me tell you. Or they're going to be committing to you real quick here. Two more cards for Pisces, please. So I see that you've been a little bit unhappy still about something. It could be about the options that are coming in as far as your love life goes. Or it could be like you're just bored with your love life or you're sick of the options. I do see that you've been fighting off some like major desire for something or someone though. All right, so this is the Queen of Cups. This shows me that you are open. You are receptive to the energies of love that are swirling around you right now, okay? But this card is showing me that there's something right now going on in your love life that you are not happy with. It's like this feeling of like, uh, 
And here's why I think. There is someone that you're holding on to some horses for, basically, some desire. Look at that. And you've been fighting the desire to really sort of give your all to this person, okay? And I don't know if it's because of this, the Seven of Cups, like you're trying to keep your options open, you're not sure which cup you want, or it could be because there's just a delay for some reason or another, right? I keep feeling this energy of delay, delay, delay. But it's really hard for you to hold back because I see you wanting to plow forward with this energy or someone. This is either you or your person, okay? Um, like I said, your guys' energies, are they get so mixed up. Everyone's energy is all mixed up in together. And, you know, this is also a collective reading. So this whether this is your person's or you, someone really is having a hard time and struggling to hold back their physical desires for you, Okay. Um, I do see you guys committing to each other in the future. Here's the Hierophant, which is the card of commitment, always in a love reading. But um, beware of this energy of like, I don't know. It's, it's a weird energy that's coming out next. It's the Ten of Wands, right? So beware of this energy of like, taking on too much, um, being stressed out about this commitment. Does that make sense? I feel like if you want to commit or, you know, this person wants to commit to you, sort of take your time um, feeling this whole commitment option out because I feel like it's going to cause you some type of stress and anxiety for whatever reason. I mean, maybe you guys will be planning a wedding and it's going to be stressful. I don't know. But there's this energy of like being overburdened. So just be aware of that. Um, we have the Queen of Wands, which is like um, fire sign energy. So this could be you or your partner's energy. Um, it feels like a divine feminine, though. I mean, it's a, the, the, it's, it, is, it is a divine feminine. It's the Queen of Wands, see? And to me, this represents a very powerful divine feminine energy. So this is probably you, divine feminine if I'm reading for a Divine Feminine right now, sitting in your feminine energy, we got the cat, which represents power. A lot of power, okay? Um, the sunflower represents happiness. So right now you're pretty happy with, you know, your whole entire um, energy. Um, after this whole commitment comes in, I feel like that, that'll be a time of peace. It'll bring a little bit more happiness. It's going to be very fiery between you guys. And this, again, look, the Ace of Wands shows me a lot of passion. Um, there will be, I can see from the cloud, there will be a little bit of like um, minor um, arguments and sort of like clashing with you guys, but there'll always be great makeup sex in the end, <laughs> just so you know. Um, I see a period of extreme growth coming from this connection, okay? Once you guys both fully decide to connect to it. Okay, there. <laughs> There's your reading. Um, let's pull from the romance angels and see what they got to say. It's been a pretty good reading so far. Sorry, I thought I heard my babies crying. So it sounds like they're okay. Okay. Whoa. Can we get um, three cards for Pisces from the romance angels, please? Spirit. Three cards for Pisces. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So to me, it seems like whatever religion you are not religion, whatever spiritual path you are on, you want the person to have the same type of um, ideals. I guess when it comes to the spiritual path, you want someone who's very spiritual. That's the energy coming through. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So if you're in a current partnership, Spirit is saying give your relationship a chance and work on it. It doesn't have to be quite over yet. Or if you have someone right now that you are sort of trying to start a relationship with, give that one a chance. And it says, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. See, there's the religious factors. Give your relationship a chance. 
This is two angelic souls um, embracing each other. It's a very divinely guided union. Healing family issues. So in this card, there is an ancestor in the background sort of watching over very soon. Decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I feel like the reason the universe hasn't brought you what you want is because you haven't really been clear about what it is that you want. Some of you might be still entangled in other um, relationship issues or previous relationships, um, exes, anything like that. Um, your person might be. There's an energy of unfinished business and not clearly knowing and telling the universe what it is that you want from the universe. And so that's why it's taking its time to come in. So take it out of the nights, okay? I'm thirsty. Okay, so um, now why don't we get into some Bodhi Tarot? See what we got here. Let me see if I can shuffle these. Hold on, let me pause this. Okay, I just didn't want the video to be super long while I was trying to figure out how to shuffle these cards. Whoa. All right, watch out for people that don't add to your life. They're dragging you down to their level. You don't deserve this. You're worth much more. That was the first card we got, Pisces. Out of this one. Okay. And then we have, oh, Lord have mercy. A twin flame connection is in or entering your life. This could be a friend or a lover. Either way, this connection may be triggering as they are a reflection of yourself. All of the signs so far that I've done this month have gotten this card, I think, except for Taurus. So, I'm sorry, Taurus. <laughs> this month of April, um, April, May, and this whole summer, I feel like the new cycle of twin flames are coming into union. So, it looks like you're going to be one of them, Pisces. <laughs> Leo got it as well. All right. Leo, Libra, Cancer, I think all got that card. The love you've shown yourself has helped you establish healthy relationships in your life. If you know your worth, others will know it too. <clears throat> Perfect. Those are some great messages. So focus right now too on, um, let's see, let's read it again. Keep on continuing to focus on that self-love because it is doing you wonders. All right. Um, we're going to do the Who deck just to give you some. For those of you that are new here, um, this deck is a character trait deck. It gives you like character traits about your person. Also, like, whenever you find this reading for you, it's, it's timeless. So like I said, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. So all of my readings are timeless, every single one of them. Whenever you find, whatever reading you're guided to, it's for you, okay? Um, and if you're a previous subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much, everyone, for your likes and your shares, your subscriptions, my Patreons. I love you all. If you follow me on Instagram, you can connect with me there. And maybe you can even convince me to talk to you through DMs. I do sometimes. It depends on if I feel guided to. Faithful. Woohoo! We all like that type of energy, don't we? Leos are one of the faithful, most faithful signs in the zodiac. I should know I'm a Leo. Okay. We got a dulcet. So, ow, my foot. Oh, I hurt my foot yesterday, you guys. I stubbed my toe on, like, this big, huge wood, like, heavy plastic toy table that my kids have and oh my god it hurts and it was funny because it was my pinky toe and then I looked it up because I felt like it was very significant because I don't ever trip I don't ever stub my toe like I'm very grounded and I don't ever do that and you know yesterday we had all that crazy I don't know was it Saturn conjunct Neptune or whatever I don't know what the fuck was going on but I stubbed my toe that day and I was like oh the earth is trying to tell me something the universe is trying to tell me something and then I did look up the, the, what the little pinky toe on the left represents. And it's, it said it represents trust. It's the earth toe. That's what it's called. And I'm like, oh, so the universe is mad because I don't trust it or whatever. Ugh. Okay. So we have adult sense. So some of, you know, your person or you might have, um, 
teenage children that are like, you know, I would say adults and so like 13 and up. Um, so this is like a young adult, you know, or, a, you know, a child that's in their 20s or something like that. Take that out. Resonates. Can we get two more cards for Pisces, please? My fishy friends. Thin body. So this is you or your person. All right. Last card. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So we have faithful. Your person is very, very faithful, Pisces. This person that you're dealing with right now or this pers next person that's coming in for you singles. This is the card of, I said, you know, you or your partner will have like adult children or children who are, you know, young adults. So teenagers, you know, in their 20s, whatever. Or it could be a younger um, sign. All right. And then we have thin body. So your person or you has a thin body. Um, I mean, your person that's coming in or the one you're dealing with now. I'm sorry, not you. Um, I don't know. This word, though, adults, adults sense, to me, it's like a young teenager. So obviously, you wouldn't be messing around with a young teenager. You better not if you're an adult. That's completely against the law. <laughs> All right. And then we have spiritual right here. So your person is spiritual. Wow. So... There's like um, an elephant god on here. Oh, I can't remember the elephant god. It looks like Ganesh. I don't know. But so your person's spiritual or your new person that's coming in. Pretty awesome. All right. We're going to end with this unicorn oracle. Um, we're going to get messages from either spirit or your person, depending on who wants to speak. And we'll end on this, Pisces. We're at 21 minutes. It's been a pretty good reading. All right. So let's see where we're at. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? What do we got for Pisces, please? Last message for Pisces. Two cards, please, for Pisces. <clears throat> Ooh. What's going on? All right, Spirit. What is the last thing you want Pisces to know from you or from the person? Either one. Take it. Take it or leave it, Spirit. This is your last chance. Get it out. Flow. Find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, and release your expectations. So in your love life, you need to find, it says to find an easier path. Some of y'all are taking the hard way towards your love life, okay? Surrender the outcome. You have too many expectations into this right now, all right? Too many expectations. See? Just allow yourself to go with the flow. Be like water. See flow. All right. And then we have delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things and always expect the best. See, if you release your expectations and focus on just like the really good things that are coming in, like expecting the best, expecting the best, expecting the best, always, always expect miracles and magic. It's going to come. It doesn't have a choice. All right, um, my foot really hurts. My whole foot hurts now. You should have seen, you guys, my little toe. Um, and I do not like feet, so I am not going to show you. There's going to be no toe show. Um, it was purple. The whole toe, purple. And now my whole foot hurts. So I think I may have broken it. <laughs> All right, Pisces, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Okay, thank you. Bye.